Okay, I'm gonna time this exercise. All right. So it's gonna be one minute. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give you the instructions. It's one minute. Okay. And looking around the room, so you have one minute to actually protect your balloon. And I should have made it smaller. And. Huh? So again, and 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 we don't know what's gonna happen, but just Sound protect. Dangerous. Well, again, it's just, so I just want to see, you know, how, 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 Man, All right. Straight face. <laughs> okay, so can I have a timekeeper who has another one? Yeah, right. we, we doing it. We got a, I got a, a minute, gentlemen. Huh? Let me say one minute. Y'all have to mess with Kaden. You mess with mine, you mess with me. All right. And, and again, if, if, if anything should happen to your balloon, I understand. No, I'm sorry. 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 All right, so, <laughs> all right, so again, you have one minute to just protect. You have one minute, right? Protect your balloon for one moment, one minute. Ready? All right, start. Here's my time. Okay, good. Thank Go. you. Go from from who? From who? <laughs> That's what I said. I'm done giving instructions. The the timer started, so I can't say. <laughs> no, can you stop? No, 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 no. You just open it up. I don't know. <laughs> My instructions were protect your balloon. Yeah. I never said attack someone else. Nope. <laughs> I never said I again. burst yeah. someone else's balloon. No. So then the question becomes, why was that the first reaction we had? Ooh, that's a good one. Stop like, awesome. Kill everything yeah. with the same map. <laughs> that's a very I'm sorry, answer. I need I, I, I can't. Hold on. We preach it. We preach it. Hey, run that back. Run it 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 back. So let me get this. Y'all want to fail. Some people Some people grab weapons, okay? Festivity, you know, included, I get it. But again, I never said pop someone else's balloon. All I said was protect your balloon. So then why was the first inclination to the older women? He said thug wife. Because no, I seen people come at me and I had to go. Yeah, yeah. If there's, if there's yeah. 16 yeah. lions, right? There's what? If there's 16 <laughs> lions, none of the men talk and, to each other. And me and mine is two lions. That, that means I gotta kill 14 lions for my line to be safe. No, they ain't, because they're fried. 
Huh? Oh, God mm. damn. damn. That's a good one. That's a good one. Damn. What if they not my pride, though? Okay. They got to go. But the thing is, if you're going out for that meal, y'all going y'all gonna to hunt oh. together. They hunt together. Only, only time right. they not a pride when the males, male leader pride to go form his own pride. Okay. And he try to take on another I just, line. I just showed yes. the hands because that yeah, was the yeah, first thing. Does anyone else? 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 Does anyone else?
protect your balloon and say anything else because i just wanted to see what you guys were going to do with that information but the word protect right unfortunately i hate the word triggered because it's used it's overused it's used poorly in society yeah. and it's used For sure. For sure. terribly in social media everyone's triggered it's like that's not how it works just like gaslighting that's not how it works but it's pet peeves we'll talk about that another day right but again once you heard the word protect the first thing is to protect protect right she's like what's wrong with my balloons, my balloons. so I then now another I thing know. happens within so then i can be a threat too oh right. this is another perception but now let's look at the deeper conversation you good yeah you good yeah all right we're just protecting our balloons we just sit here see because that was the extent of the instructions i never said attack i never said winner loser i just said protect your balloons right so effective communication so, so, we're back so, full circle to that again well, my, okay. And my, then I'll my, talk about this in a minute. What I, what I need to understand is, I understand what you, you the, 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 what you're trying to, what you're trying to do. But what I'm saying is, so you, you didn't say you didn't go into depth. You're like, okay, protect your balloon. That's all I said. All right. So when women start attacking our balloons, <laughs> what, is, what, is, what does that mean? Well, it because it again, to me. you know, you and, and here's some things. Yes. Right? When someone comes so, so let me say this. Let me say this because I think it's important to look at the nucleus no. within this specific dynamic, right? If you leaned over to your partner and says, "Baby, let's just protect our balloons," Uh-oh. you're good. Okay, but right? Or if you lean so, over, you didn't and say, do that. Hey, but my point area, is that I, area, I didn't give. I'm not feeling this area. Right. I didn't give any on your extra anything other than protect. So if you and your partner decided we are gonna do this, then y'all good, See, that right? Sounds sweet. And so <laughs> it's not the goal, but the goal is to really look at constructive dynamics that you can actually build upon, and it's doable, but it takes action. Lip service, unfortunately, has become a very common thing that in part. our new world, and that's what that, I can yeah. get your name. I'm sorry, Monica. Monica sorry. was talking about with you know the men versus yeah, the really women feel. and everything else. <laughs> We've got a plethora of unqualified people defining things around male dynamics, female dynamics, social dynamics, and everything else because they have a feeling about it. I always say just because you have a mouth doesn't mean that your voice belongs in every conversation. I'm a firm believer of that. Okay. I'm so and so. <laughs> I'm and so, so essentially, at the risk of, I don't want to get too preachy, but the thing is that, you know, just being mindful of the source, the facts, checking your source. If an eight-year-old is telling you about love, you might want to find another another source. If a 12-year-old is talking to you about deep relationship dynamics, I don't know. You just might want to find another source. If Dr. Phil is giving you spiritual advice, who, by the way, is not a real doctor, you might want to change the channel. Like, facts check. We don't do that. Well, that, that was not fair. Some people don't do that, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So that's that's where we have this new, I guess I'll call it a tsunami, of people who are like, well, that's what I heard, that's what I saw, like, okay, but it's not it's not real, it's it's an imaginary Wait, place constructed to, to someone to make money. Brooke, um, I think it was we keep saying how you. Oh, oh, shit. My own I guess I you scared me. Oh, the balloon ain't scared me. Message, though. <laughs> Or, or what maybe others were trying to say is that it's. I think it's about comprehension. So it's that not jumping to conclusion <laughs> that that's what somebody met next, but but tapping into that feeling. So if you felt triggered, sorry, if you felt triggered by what he said or felt a type of way, um, and if that's your spouse, let's say, it's the minute you feel that to make sure that you counteract that with, you know, okay, so I'm feeling some type of way, let me let me try yeah. to come back, let me tone, bring it back, Thanks. and let me figure out, yes. hold up, what is he really trying to say? And then maybe we're even waiting till he's finished to then repeat that, like, so this is what I heard you say? Yes. Is this what you were trying to say to me? Is, yes. is this, because communication, communicate to me, when they talk about communication in relationships, it, at the end of the day, communication is not, is not the key because com- I, I think it's you. been said like communication we communicate oh, yeah, yeah. all the damn time all we communicate in many ways. different ways yep. right? right but that's not what it's about it's did you actually understand what i said okay. and you can have your perception of what what they Absolutely. thought they meant 
but then it's on you because don't nobody out here control anybody else's feelings and attitudes and all of that right so it's on you to say okay if i perceived something this way hold up let me try to understand really what this is because um and, and then just think about it just in in life that like i was watching track today track and field um um, they're in what Doha or whatever, and so the dude. Um, it's up. Uh, sorry, that's a lot. That's a lot. It was. You were, what's the What's the football league you were watching today? Oh, USFL. So he was watching the USFL, and um, you know, you know, you're going to the terms and stuff. So, but he was watching USFL, and um, what happened was one of the. They were all at the line, right? And the first team guy, he before they snapped the ball, he jumped, right? But they didn't see that. They called the guy from the All other sides. team who responded to his jump, and he got the, the other team All got sides. the call. So that's how things always work, right? Mm-hmm. Is that people, if things happen and your feelings make you respond to something, a lot of times they're not going to see what someone did to you. They're going to see what your response was to whatever it was that somebody did to you and who gets in trouble, right? Yeah. You murdered somebody. It's not always the person who They did broke in your house and stole stuff and was threatening you and that's why you did it. No, that's why you did it. They skipped that part. Time. Right, right, right. They skipped that so, part. So, I mean, that's well, what I wanted to say that. about that. No. And then the last thing was just, I, I didn't even think about I just realized that for us, we both protected our stuff but we didn't even have a conversation about it. And no, I'm not saying that we're in Hey, team. shout that's out okay. to Greg because Greg but was like, screw these people, I'm walking way over yeah, yonder. But you know what I thought about us? I, it's nuances, but I, I was like, okay, we both protected our stuff, but that to me speaks to a lot of things that I always say about us, is that I don't all, even always think that we're on the same page. So in Bluetooth. one way, we were on, huh? You connected like Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, but that's real accurate, though. Yeah. I like that, but this is what I thought about. <laughs> yes, we both protected our balloons, but we went in different directions and did different things. So God only knows how much further we could have gotten maybe if we actually had more of a communication or that's more true. or something yeah. like that. I don't, I don't know what it was. Facts. But that's what it made me Facts. think of. Like, yes, we both knew we needed to protect, but we didn't, there wasn't nothing that we did to make sure that, you yeah. know, who knows how, how, you know, how much we could survive. Is all I want to say. I'm done. So, <laughs> hey, the, no, shout the, out to you. That's the last good. thing that, that's good. Um, remember, I did ask this question. I really appreciate what you said about comprehension, right? Yeah. So the undercurrent around that is my perception. And again, what else am I like repeating to myself, which brings us back full circle to mantras, right? Remember earlier I asked you, what is the mantra of your relationship? Right, no, absolutely, yes. And I, I left the space for that to process or marinate as they say, right? So that way you can actually have something that you actually kind of sat with for a little bit unconsciously, but I, I was aware, I was tracking that, you know. Shout out um, to Dr. Jonas Bover. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Yeah, see, you had your hand up? No, no, were you about to... Continue? And you don't have to disclose. If it's something that you're I uncomfortable I, I disclosing, like disclose please, my, yes. So, for me, and I don't know how she feels, but for me, it's, uh, I don't know if it's one or two, it but, could be, it could be. But, but, but less is more, simple is better. Mm-hmm. Those are the two mantras I feel like I've uh, incorporated in our relationship because yeah. it took me a lot of time to learn her because I wanted to love her how I wanted to love her. And that way may not have been how she wanted it. Right. So I realized like for her it's simplicity and, and and it didn't mean like material things because God knows we was broke. So I was not talking about material things. Right. But I'm just talking about like, all right. Um, I can't give her five or six or seven things like boom, 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 less. One, two, three, let's focus on these three things and then we move on to the next one, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the less is more. And the simple things is just like, she likes cards, right? For me, getting her cards for like Christmas and her birthdays and stuff like, I never thought about that. But that's just something that she like, mm-hmm. put in the card, writing something, hey, I love you, boom, 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 boom. That did it. Right, and then I can go out with the fellas the next night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you had me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. No, no. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to the homie. I got you. This is the real talk. Uh, uh, Valentine's Day, boom. So and I did that. I come into the bathroom and get a car on the phone. Put a car like right on the phone. Right on the because I know that's what you can go in the morning. So that's the, the simple is better. And then for me, so simple is better, less is more would be I my mantra for my relationship. That's beautiful. I love that. And, and I, I thought about that when you, when you said that, that it, it's been churning in my head the whole time. Yes. It was doing a lot of other stuff discuss, but for us, for me, mm-hmm. it's And I'll talk about two things too. 
Good. I, I, I remember. Thank you. Know, you. Thank you. You know, I don't think you was attacking me, right? I just want you to know. What? I don't think you was attacking me. We don't do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> you might kill him in love. Who would you say? No, she's doing right. She's saying you might kill him in love. No, no, Look at his face. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> he did. He did. He She learned it. She learned it. She taught her quick. We, we do. I'm just saying, I want Dante to know that I don't think that he, it was what you said oh, that man. brought things out of, in my mind. Oh, Not, yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, I no that shout out to Monica yeah. for that, though, because, because that, he said that's, a big, that's a big thing yeah. to admit. Right. That's a big yeah. thing yeah. to admit. Yeah. And a lot of men do see the response to the things we think or feel as a tax and so then we say nothing right. because we fear that our feelings and thoughts are going to wreck you no, I don't think we feel that it happens when we say it. When we do it, I'm it gonna happens. I'm gonna keep it at feelings because, <laughs> because I'm trying to get, get something tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep well, it at feelings. So, so, so I, I about was gonna the say, mantra. Piece. I don't want to go on a tangent too so, far. Yeah. No, no, we're gonna see what you want to say. Yes. So our mantras are we're better together. Better together. Which is also a mantra of the whole podcast. Which you'll see in the podcast. And the other one is. Love is a choice. It's not easy, but, but it's, it's worth it. But it's always worth it. Those are ours. Say again. Ooh. Love is a choice. It's not easy, but it's always worth it. Yes. I love that. Did y'all come up with that together? Or how that work? Like, well, you had Yes. Friends. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yes, really. really. We did. So that was both better together. Because right. right now, I'm pretty sure what I'm thinking our mantra is, he ain't thinking it's. Yeah, yeah. And that's okay. That's, that's okay. okay. That's, that's okay. okay. That's okay. And the reason that that's okay, and I'm not going to pressure anyone to disclose or anything. Does anyone else want to share? If not, again, there's a zero pressure dynamic. So, what's your name? Corey. Corey. Yeah. What I liked about Corey's mantra was that. It's 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 talking about the nucleus because he he threw in the joke about if I do this and go out the fellas and everything else, but he's thinking about the both of you guys, right? Because he might need that time to decompress, but he also knows how to signal to you that he yeah. cares about you. Right. So he technically is not a him; he's a we. Does that make sense? Right. So it's like in that in that 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 dynamic, and that's yeah. really the whole that's, point of yeah. the mantra yeah, is right. that yeah. you know you. Say for example, you have a job you hate. I love my job. I, I laugh every day. Now I call. Yeah, I know, right? Excuse me. I hate this. Kill somebody. You know, one year later, I am laughing every day. Life is good, right? But every day you go to work, you go. I hate this place. I hate this place. That becomes the mantra, right? You. It could be a beautiful sunny day out. You probably have a four-hour day, but you've already said in your mind, I hate this place. Right? That's real. And so you live, I That's hate real. this place. So imagine what that looks like in the, in the context of a relationship where clearly you see this person a lot. You spend a significant amount of time with them, hopefully. I can't stand this person. Or I don't like this person, da, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That becomes the unconscious mantra. So going back to what Brooke was saying around comprehension, I hear you. You know, you're telling me I look nice, but what do you want? <laughs> Because the undercurrent of the shared, or at least the silent mantra in some worst cases, is that I don't want to be around you. And I'm saying this to myself repeatedly, right? So what does the opposite look like? Like my, my mantra is it takes two to get there, hence why it says together. That's, that's my mantra. To get there. All right. It takes two to get there, right? Together. I had to grow towards that. That wasn't, that's like, a, that wasn't like a, hey, we got married and this is our mantra. Like, you're right. Yes. They, they you're right. Sweet. You're right. Especially for us, the Bible says, uh, it gives us a divine mandate to love our wives as Christ loves the church and gives his life for it. You understand what I'm saying? And gives the divine uh, feminine the requirement to respect, respect their husbands. You understand what I'm saying? So it, it will take time to get there, but are you willing to put in the time? If you're not willing to put in the time, you have no business being in a relationship, period, much less being married. Right. But if you are, then understand this is for the rest of your time on this plane of existence we'll saw about it and get to work and it's not doom and gloom no. yeah this is this is the thing this is why i don't like talking about relationships it's not doom and gloom this is your partner hopefully your best friend my brother's right here his wife obviously is closer to him than we are as the way it's supposed to be my brother's right here nadia definitely is close you know what i mean that's how it's supposed to be 
So there are things that they're going to share, things that they're going to talk about that's none of my business. Because they are best friends in the spiritual sense, in the obvious physical sense, right? And so this is the piece. So you're, you're building that, right? That's beautiful. That's fun. That's pretty. That's games. That's pranks and so on and so forth, right? The logistics get in the way and the logistics um, unfortunately become the primary. How much money do you make? What do you bring to the table? I want this, that, that, that. That is not a marriage. That is not a relationship. That's a business merger, business acquisitions at that point. People have missed that completely. It's two souls coming together to actually figure out how to become one. And if you understand how complicated one freaking soul is, you would respect the process, right? So that's really what I'm really speaking to. So it's not about how to control. The other thing about social media that you that you reminded me of is that most of the stuff that we're hearing nowadays, it's how to control Facts. and how to dominate Facts. has nothing to do with how to actually be a union. And I, I treat that like the equivalent of the play. I still clear it, you know, but I have resources that helps me check against whatever I'm hearing. This is garbage. That's not true. That's not real. Right. So it's like it's how to control someone. But that's not love. Love is not manipulation. Actually, as a matter of fact, in the Bible, manipulation is also likened to witchcraft. Right? So you kind of have to think about that in essence. Like, are you, if you sincerely love this person, you're moving in a very authentic and transparent way with them. And you're inviting them to do the same with you. Maturity has a lot to do with that. Hence why you said, it took me a minute to get there because you recognize the value of the woman in front of you. And one of my biggest things. Yeah. Right. I love the fact that you corrected me on that. Yeah, thing. Yes. Both. both exactly. That's one very of my biggest things, and I've done after this is I read a book. I'm reading a book called Seven Rings of Marriage. Oh yeah. By Jackie um, Bletcher. Yeah. It's a really good book. Mm-hmm. And it, everybody is at a point in their marriage. Like you and your marriage may be a different point. It's one of the rings, and it's really, really good. Mm-hmm. And it helped me because one of the, the main things it says is marriage is not for you. And like, so when it said marriage isn't for me, I'm reading a book, I'm like, shit, I mean, I can get, you know what I mean? I can get divorced, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It was like, right, right, right. But it's, 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 it's totally, um, not losing yourself, but giving yourself Absolutely. to the other person. If I give her everything, and, I don't, and I'm not perfect at all, but if I give her everything she needs, she gives me everything we need, both of our love takes a feel, and she's giving me what I need, I'm giving Absolutely. her what she needs, right? Respect is my biggest thing, love is her biggest thing. Cool, we understand that. Um, but that's a really, really, really good book. Mm-hmm. I'm not finished it, mm-hmm. but I've started it. If anybody wants that book, yeah, no, it's a good we book. definitely it's gonna, really seven uh, definitely marriage, yeah. Yeah. It's a good book. Yeah. It's an unbelievable yeah. book. Yes. And it's very simple. Shout uh-huh. out to Corey. Shout out to you, brother. But I'm done, though. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> no and give him another drink. No. <laughs> I, I always respect. I always like to Man. say it out loud. Yes. To so other so brothers so. who take their marriage and their relationship seriously. I always love to say it out loud, like from one brother to another. Right. Salute to you because right. it's important. No, I appreciate it. It's important. And, and, have, I, and I haven't been great throughout my marriage. And I mean, I ain't been terrible, but I'm, I'm continuously working. So that's as I continue to work, thing. all I want to do is just share to that's help anybody key. else. So, Facts. Corey, the same thing. thing. The thing you have to understand. That's the whole basis of our podcast. Right. And we got to a place and we love to share what we got to so far. Right. Right. Other people. Who especially also want to get to, especially, especially with black marriages. Also, I think especially with black marriages. Yeah. Like yeah. I have, there were shit. points that I was like, some shit. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, because the thing yeah. is that. I, 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 yes. I'll say, like, with, with, with my wife, like, honestly, uh, for the podcast, maybe we get, you know, harping on this. Like, Leia and I, we've been together, literally, I met her when I was 21. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I was 22. She wasn't even she wasn't even legal yet, like like legit legal, like she's <laughs> turning twenty one. And we've been together since then. We've had a whole bunch of ups and downs. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we we've had a whole bunch of ups and downs. But it's like we have an amazing merge and, and, and you know, I love her more than anything. She's my best friend. So it's kinda like we're we're having the, the this this setting and you know, we're talking about, you know, being married and you know how to you know, help a each other, you know, whatever, whatever. How how can I help our? I mean, our marriage is perfect to me. But mm-hmm. I, I mean, she's my best friend. Like I don't know anything but her. I met her when I was freaking twenty years old. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I,
we met yeah, each other in high school. That's what I was gonna say. We broke up and then we got back together. Oh, we broke up. Yeah, we broke <laughs> up. We had our son before we got married. Like we've been through. Like we're not no perfect story at all yeah, whatsoever. Thanks. But. You, you know, see what I'm saying? It, absolutely, yeah. but when I say you have to nurture your relationship and your relationship, like you feed your 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 body, you have to feed your marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I am in the black community. Therapy is a stigma amongst us. Absolutely. Um, any type of counseling is a stigma. Mm -hmm. We started our marriage on door premarital counseling and have been getting um, therapy throughout. Yes. And we're ten years this this year. Shout out to um, ten yes. years. Yes. Yes. It used to be like something that you just don't talk you about. You protecting your balloon, bro. <laughs> it's something that you don't talk about, but then you realize it's a testimony. So because everybody does see what's on IG, Instagram versus mm -hmm. reality. Um, That's and an it's episode, okay. Instagram versus reality. Yeah, Let's and go. everybody doesn't need to be in your business. Um, your spouse should be your best friend. We'll work towards that. And one thing, we've always had God at the center of our marriage, but it really will be really... I felt at the lowest of our marriage, like really putting God at the center of our marriage and knowing that it takes three, you, your spouse, and God, like everything, doors started to open, blessings started to come, like it was just amazing to be Big able deal. to be a two-parent household for our children and to see that example. I didn't grow up with that. He did. Um, so I see that example with his family, but to see how our kids are and how they are about our marriage and, you know, I asked my Naya, what do you think love is or what is marriage? Mm. To see their perspective of yeah. love versus someone else who doesn't That's have that. Watching people. London draw pictures of family yeah, is amazing. It's, it's just amazing. Yeah. So that was my caption. It takes three. You know. So you, you kind of touched on some key points around, you know, um, the perfection piece. There's no such thing as perfection. Perfection is actually an illusion does not exist um you know you only know you actually will know everything when you're dead that's how it works it's a journey not a destination right so essentially being present is how you are actually building your marriage okay. being present right um yeah. these little exits is what we call them in therapy we call them exits like everyone has their exit you might go to your man cave she might go out with her girls everyone has an exit when they need to, to get away right Unfortunately, it's gotten it's gotten worse. People have extreme exits now, and so this new illusionary world called social media is one of them, right? But that's not the only one. And I'm not gonna sit here and be like some old dude harping on social media, because people have you know exits that they take. They might go somewhere. They might you know hang out at the bar a little longer than they're supposed to. They might play video games a little longer. So it's not exclusively social media, right? So what happens then, why do I feel the need to get away from you when I got with you to be with you indefinitely, right? That's something to really, really think about. Again, this is your best friend. You, if We've all here, hopefully, have had a best friend. Y'all did everything together, went everywhere together. And your parents like, no, we're together. What the hell? You know, like, this is what you get to do in your adulthood um, decisively, right? So, but being present is so key. And oftentimes, you know, we've seen it, you know, people sit at the dinner table where everyone takes out their phone. You're not present, right? You know, you're you're talking to your partner, but you're thinking about work or you're thinking about something else. I'd rather be. So at that moment, you're not present. And that's how you also hurt your nucleus. So learning how to literally be present. And what's funny is that we hear that word <laughs> mindfulness tossed around a lot when people talk about, you know, um, meditation and everything else from a marketing standpoint. It just means being present. That's all mindfulness means. It's not deep. I'm in the room right now talking to a bunch of amazing people. I'm present. Thank I'm you. mindful. The end. Right? So it's just like those types of things, right? So in closing, I just really want to reiterate, we started off looking at communication dynamics when we put all our stuff out there, how it comes back to us a complete, in a completely different form right um the second exercise we also looked at you know how certain words might be perceived and received which results in actions right that are necessary to discuss i only heard one or two couples go why don't you go smoke balloon what's wrong with you like you know like i i didn't see a lot of that but i understand why because it became a game every man for himself stop a balloon i was like i didn't say anything about this. <laughs> this is great it was like fun, i was like all i said was protect your balloon right and of course, not wait. You had your hand up. No, wait. I'm 
I just, you just said it. I just want to go back to the balloon thing real quick. I ain't gonna look up too long. <laughs> you didn't give that many instructions. I didn't give, all I said was protect no, this, the balloon. This is my thing, though. This is my perception of it, right? Yes. Throughout the talks of the whole balloon thing, I felt like it was wrong to go pop other people's balloon because you didn't give instructions, right? So how, is that wrong that my protection level is to take out everybody else so my balloon can be sweet like is that wrong so not to pick on you but i'm happy you no go ahead pick on me so yes it's wrong and i'll tell you why it's wrong how it's wrong okay it wasn't that you went after everyone's balloon that was hilarious by the way what was wrong was that we became selfish so when 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 two people are selfish in a nucleus everyone loses Okay, I hear that. Right. What was so that's, selfish? That's, what was the selfish part? Nice. Popping the balloon. Damn, I was still going for effect. I wanted to pop that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that was... You're about to have a whole problem with you if you pop her balloon. I'm just trying to tell you that. Put that out there. Because, again, the thing was protect, right? We got selfish. Well, if I have mine, you can't have yours. That's selfish. And then what? what's... Oh, so you pop mine. Now I got to pop yours. Now that's, no one has the point. Balloon. So now See, that's your nucleus is in shambles because everyone got selfish. <laughs> if you just protected yours, you just, it's just, what do they say? What's I, for you is for you. So if you would have just protected yours, you would have been good. Y'all would have kept else. it. You don't have to worry about everybody yes. else. Exactly. Everyone just sat perfectly still. you have been fine. Even the ladies, Dante. But moreover, we just protected but see, I'm, I'm, but moreover, I still think different though. Like but moreover, if, if hold I on, protect my hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry about that. If they were paying attention to theirs, they would have been fine. Oh, and that's, and that's the thing. Hold on. Go over there. You, you could do that. Here's the other thing that we do in our relationship is we say both sides of the thing. We say it every time. I don't just say I'm going to protect my balloon. I say, and if my balloon gets popped, I'm going to respond like this. I'm going to chill. I'm going to laugh about it. And I'm going to relax. Why? Because I've already taken into account, first of all, this is a goddamn balloon. Yeah. <laughs> no, but let's it's be real. In relationships, it doesn't context. always feel that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In relationships, it doesn't always feel that yeah, way. So Sometimes it, it feels it a lot bigger, bigger than, than that. Yeah. And even Kalissa now, she's still trying to protect her balloon. <laughs> I know it I'm is trying. not a game for Kalissa. You heard me? <laughs> she is not playing with this protect the balloon thing. <laughs> Hold on, but my main question is, why is that wrong? When that's how I feel. It's protection not okay. Is. But now again, remember. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right, that's wrong, a good question. I don't think right, that's hold on, right, that's wrong, right, wrong, fault, no fault, right, nope, right. that's irrelevant. Okay. The point is, in this particular situation, your balloon could have gotten popped irrespective of right or wrong, up, yeah. down, left or right. right. So what you going to do about your balloon being popped once it's popped? See, I ain't thought that far because I gotta protect my. Hold on. What I'm saying is, balloon, in a relationship, still. in a relationship, mm-hmm. sometimes it be like that. Can still come back. And you yes. don't get a chance to think about the the, the the option. Something happens, and there's a stimulus, and you have to respond, right. or you can choose to wusa, take a minute, not respond, and take your time. Yeah. So Brooke, you were gonna say Brooke is chomping at the bit to say something and then I will no, say something. Yeah. Oh, I'm I sorry. Think I'm sorry. My mind can't even wrap around that. But I'm also awesome. thinking <laughs> with regard to this is that again, if you were focusing so much on our relationships, because that's ultimately what this test is about, right? It's focusing on us and our relationships. You don't. Everybody else really doesn't matter you're putting that Facts. energy that 100 Facts. that 100 into you right mm-hmm. so while you were going around you weren't really protecting your balloon while you were hitting everybody else because i was watching people we weren't really doing what we needed to do because it's hard to do that it's hard to kind of have your one hand here and do this and try to be attacking Attack everybody so you went into that mode and it's like but wait 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 Hold that on. What, what about us? What about our relationship? And it may be hard for you to ever no, really understand. Or, it is. or, her, or, or even her. You thought you was protecting y'all. But maybe that's not it. Maybe she that's needs a little bit more. My balloon's maybe good. Too. Yours might have been a little bony. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I no, get that now. That's but, real, though. That's I, real. That's real. Okay. Okay. Why are you out making me fall? I heard it once I said it. I heard it once I said it. Why you out making three, four, five hundred thousand dollars to say I'm bringing home the dollars? I'm bringing home the dollars. Your wife is alone the entire time. How does that work? Is that protecting your balloons? No, my God. 
that's that's that's, 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 that's like that's, that's where I was trying to go. Yeah, like, that makes you put so much energy that I, that even goes into like cheating. I, like, I don't even understand how people had the energy and the time, like you put the focus on. If you like, how the hell you even be thinking about how many lies you got to come up with to figure out how you gonna keep that situation away? I can't remember shit. First, it be too much. So, so in closing, <laughs> tip number three to close. <laughs> um, so, so let me say this. Let me just say this briefly. I think it's important. So, you know, every every magician unfortunately has to kind of like show part of their trick. The word protect is deliberately thrown into the instruction because it, it actually causes for a reaction. Okay, it, it, it also heightens this and that's why the word protect is thrown in there. It's it's really looking at not only so much how well do we communicate, but also how do we hear. And that's really why I threw that in. So the first one was how are we, you know, talking and perceiving and receiving. This one was about how do we hear and seeing how that resulted in a series of actions, right? But again, that mantra is so important because even in a game-like environment, people are learning about each other. Right, that are hopefully learning some things about themselves, right? And I also want to reiterate the fact that, especially to the men in the room. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm tired of holding this. It's fine. Oh, it's God. it's <laughs> it's. Can I borrow your scissors now? It's it's really it's, it's not about the the movie, uh, It's not a game. It's it's, it's really <laughs> believe it or not. It's really just about gaining a different perspective. But it's not about changing who you are as a man. That's the hardest part. You know what I'm saying? Though. Like you know, true. the hardest part. I'm, I'm still going to the gym. I'm still going to do my man stuff. Like I'm, you know, it doesn't. But I am aware. I am mindful. I'm present. That's really what this is about. And of course in dealing with somebody who is your partner you have to also understand that this is a dance you know and if, if you if you dance any type of latin dance or any type of different formal dancing you realize there's a push pull right there's all there's there's moments for space and then there's moments for closeness there's moments for breakaway and then there's for moments for reconnecting these are all communication dynamics so unless you plan to just dance by yourself, then that's a whole different conversation, right. right? So if you plan to dance with someone else, you know, Corey actually put it nicely. He's like, look, you know, it took me time to learn these steps. It took me time to understand the nuances of this move, this dance move that is called marriage, it's called love, right? And that's really what it is. But it's like that with anything that you care about, you put in the time. <laughs> You know, we, we put in that work. We're all career professionals, artists, and so on here. We all have periods and moments of tutelage where we're sitting there and we're 100% focused on the thing. Your partner should be no different. You know, it only becomes lopsided when you have poured into a dynamic and you're the only one doing it. Now that's dysfunctional, that's codependent, right? But if it's two people making a conscious decision to be together, then that's that's the proper building block. So please be mindful of your mantras. Please be mindful when you think of your partner. What comes to your mind? What what are what are the words that you're saying about your partner repeatedly? Because that is the building block of your relationship. Subconsciously, the ones that you may not say out loud, right? Oh, what's the ones that you think here? Well, she she can disclose that on the ride home. <laughs> does not have to disclose that here. I did say that. So we're not gonna be like, hey, right, tell me your mantra. Tell it to me. Already. You know, like this is. It's mine. Oh. So that's it. That's all I've got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.